In this short video, I'm going to show you a couple of different methods of inserting an image or picture into your Word document within Microsoft Word for Mac. Once we've inserted the image, we'll also look at some of the editing options that exist within the platform to help you edit those images. So first of all, let's take a look at the different ways we can insert an image into our document. So I have a page here and I want to insert an image underneath this paragraph of text. So what you do is you essentially ensure that the cursor is positioned where you want the image to go. And then you're going to go to the insert menu. Now you'll see you have the pictures options here. And there are four different options in Word for Mac to bring photos or pictures or images into your document. The first one, Photo Browser, allows you to basically open the Photos app on your computer and bring some images in from there. Now, I'm not going to use that one because I don't want to open up my personal photos in this video, but it's pretty straightforward. You essentially open it, select your picture and bring it in. Picture from file allows you to insert an image from your computer. So that's one that you have stored on your computer. Let's look at that one first of all. So if we choose picture from file, it then opens up Finder and we need to locate the image we want to bring in. So I'm going to go to my desktop here and I have an image on my desktop, which is just a standard JPEG. Now, Microsoft Word can allow you to bring in most types of images in terms of file types. If you can see your image here, but you can't select it, then it's probably in a format that it can't work with. But PNG, JPEGs, TIFF files are generally okay. So once we select the image, all we need to do is click Insert and you'll see the image will be inserted onto our document just like this. Now, something that's really interesting is it actually brings up the alt text here, so alternative text, and in this case, it's having a go at describing this image. Alternative text is an important thing to add for your image because it allows people who use screen readers to essentially have read out to them what is happening in the image. If the alt text it has added automatically doesn't quite work, then you can right click and you can use view alt text and then you can automatically look and you can look at the description here and you can change the description for this image to make it a little bit clearer and it gives you some good advice here to follow as well. So let's uh, close this down for now though. So that's how we can insert an image from our computer. Next up, if I position the cursor in between these two paragraphs, just like this, I'm going to go to insert and we're going to take a look at some of the other options. So stock images, if we choose that one, allows you to basically view a library of stock images that you can bring into your, doc your document. So if I search for sales chart in here, there's only one under sales chart, but you can actually find icons as well. So we're going to choose that image and click insert. And because I'd clicked here, this is where it's going to insert that image. So it's another stock image, but you'll see in this one, it's actually taken up the full width of the page. Now to remove that image, I'm going to select it and delete. And I'll show you the final option here, which is under pictures, and that's online pictures. Slightly different from stock images, but you can search in here. So it's basically just using Bing to allow you to find images. So let's go for sales chart once again. We may even get that image appearing in here, but you'll notice these ones are licensed under Creative Commons. So that's actually checked here. You can uncheck that if you want, but we want to make sure in this case that we're using a, an open license image. So let's just choose this one here insert and we're able to insert an image from Bing essentially. So let's delete that one and let's um, remove this little label, close these both down and let's go back and have a look at some of the things we can do with this image here. So we're not going to go into too much detail here for editing this picture but let's look at resizing. So you see we have the image left aligned here. If we want to resize it we can simply grab the corner point here and we can resize it just like this. Perhaps we don't want it to be full width, but we want it to be centrally aligned. You can put the position of the cursor before the image and use tab to tab along, or you can use spacebar, or even easier, you can actually select the image and use the formatting options here to centrally align or right to align. So we're gonna align this on the left hand side, but you'll notice when you've selected your image, you get picture formatting options. So if we click in here, you can do a lot of different formatting with your image. So if it was a person, for example, you could use the backward removal tool. And I've got a separate video on that, which I'll link to the description below or card above. 
but we can perform some basic edits here. So you see under corrections, you can do things like you can soften or sharpen the image, you can change the contrast. So obviously in this case, that's not a good use of that tool. Um, we can add artistic effects. So there's lots of different effects. Now I think personally, I think these are a little bit naff, but if you want to maybe blur it, you can blur the image like that. Let's undo that again. And then there's a couple of other options in here. So things like this one here, you can go into and this one here, you can compress. So if you need to compress your image, perhaps this is a really high resolution image, but you're maybe going to be sending this out via email, you could change it to the email option here, click OK, and then it's going to compress this image. And because I had to compress all images in this file selected, it will compress every image we have. But in this case, we've only got one. Other things you can do is you can apply one of these little frames around or a little border. You can make it a circular image and we can put it back to default again. We could just undo that if we want to. So we can leave it as it is. So there's lots of different options there in terms of um, editing your image. And then you'll see along here, you can do things like crop it as well. So if I choose the crop option, then we get cropping points here. So we can just bring that in a little bit and we can remove some of the keys here. So as I said, I wasn't looking to spend a huge amount of time showing you how to edit your pictures, but that's four different ways that you can insert images by simply using insert and pictures. So you can bring them in from the Photos app, you can bring them in from your computer, you can search their stock library, and you can also search online pictures for either Creative Commons or non-Creative Commons images.